Okay, now this, I just got back from the store, just prepared a couple of things, so I'm going to start again. This is going to be part two of this LP featuring Ninja Gaiden 1 for the NES, and I want to get started with this right now. So let's begin. I say very soon after I get a few of these LP done. I really generally do want to finish the LPs I was doing of the various quests that I really like on uh, from Zelda Classic, and I will probably I'm going to check my data banks to see if I can restore my old files for those games. The ones I was doing were the Darkness Within by Russ, and also the famous quest called Lost Isle. Holy now, all the same, even though I think Lost All is a fantastic quest, I also think at some point it is overly hyped. But, for a good reason, it is a fantastic quest. So. But, what I'm trying to say is that there should be no reason why new quest designers to feel like they cannot live up to Lost Isle. I think there's a lot of quests that can definitely live up to Lost Isle. And I think quest designers need that extra bit of boost in confidence. Oh, I could have done better if I wasn't out so far there. I remember this when, it, if anyone watched the uh, angry video game nerd video of the nin this Ninja God game, I found there's a lot of parts that he over exaggerated as too difficult. But also, if anyone knows a little bit about AVGN, sometimes he does exaggerate a little bit. It's true, like when he did the Castlevania Symphony of the Night game, he talked about how long the game over sequence takes. He says, oh, this takes forever. But, all you gotta do is press a button, it's like game over sequence over. But, uh, you know, it's just for impact of his videos. It makes the videos better. I understand that completely. Like this guy up ahead, he's like, how do you pass this guy? It makes it impossible. And also for the next part coming up ahead, he makes Luke even more possible, but also it's not that rough. Like, that's how you gotta do that. But AVGN makes it. Oh, oh yeah, the bird saved me. Perfect. But AVGN makes those these parts look incredibly terrible. But the first time you play it now, that's a lot of that's another consideration is hey. He, he makes his video games to relate to the first impression of you. And our first impressions usually makes these two parts feel a lot worse than they actually are. When you got a little bit of experience in it, like I'm doing right now, they're not so bad. Like this part up here, when I first started playing in, I did have trouble with this part quite a few times, until I remembered the actual glitch that uh, when AVGN said, it happens rarely. No, it does not happen rarely. It happens every time. But actually, that wasn't the part that I had trouble with up here. I will explain the part that I had trouble up here in recent times in just a moment. Oh, yeah, that copy's not warm enough at all, but it's... Yeah. Oh, screw it up! I had that feeling I screwed it up right away. I it was, it was ready my system. This part here is considered the hardest part of the game. I... In fact, to feel like that you can comfortably beat this game, this part actually has a feel easy. It does. So in other words, you have to do this part over and over and over again. So you can feel like that you can comfortably 
take out Jackio, Jackio, or however it's pronounced, because to, uh, to comfortably take him out, you have to be comfortable with these areas. So you can say in your mind, okay, Jackio, you or what if you beat me? Well, obviously, you'll get him five minutes. I actually said that a lot, uh, allowed me to to my friend to be looking at the other one kind of Oh! Well, now I'm just screwing up a little bit now. I'm gonna have a little bit difficult time getting through this right now because overcome them. Now this is a better way to get through this part, I, I almost forgot, but that's the way to do it, but you gotta keep that blue spinning to do it. A lot of that with park area is timing, if you don't stay in that part jumping up just before the pillar and if you move back a bit, you're making a mistake because you're involuntarily causing enemies to reappear behind you and that's not good. I said I'm coming up here with no, no lives, but what odds? Coming up here with no lives is not a terrible thing. Now, I'm going to try to get to this in the next time I'm used to. Now, this is where ABGN said this card is impossible. But in the, again, there's an exaggeration because in his videos, I think he would purposely bring the bird the falcon that I just hit from the other platform over and then introduce the falcon that appears here just to make this part look a lot more terrible than this. But again, that's, that it's for the impact of these videos, it's completely understood. But this part is not as hard as what AVGN, the younger video game nerd, makes it seem to be. But again, his videos wouldn't be as awesome if they are, as awesome as they are if they, if they didn't make the games look absolutely terrible. He's good, he's good at what he does. Okay. Okay. Two steps forward, duck! Run away from the bird! Okay, could run away from the bird, I'm dead. And that's the price if I don't let the bird run out of the screen. See, so this, that part is still a bit challenging if you don't familiarize yourself with a sequel that's and you can only know that to practice. Draw an error, in other words. Or you could be like some people, research online, or some people will tell you, but with the information, like knowing every little I. Oh, no, that's not good. I cannot. Uh, me, personally, I don't have the patience to do that much reading over something that I don't want to read. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of looking online for a some people and, you know, very good. Ooh. Oh, now I'm screwing up a little bit myself. And I'm back to the same sad last time, even worse. Oh, I just heard the levels. I think she's catching up to where she was before. I just hope that now she saves an overworld so she don't have to... Before, especially before she dealt with the meat in the Black Omen. Now, I'm pretty sure if anyone's uh, listening now, your nose and hot about Chrono Trigger. Those are words that's only discussed in the Chrono Trigger game. Uh-oh. 
yeah, I, I definitely. Suicide, suicide, suicide. There was no way I could be comfortable with that. I'm actually surprised that I'm uh, having a little bit of difficulty getting to this guy right now. I'm more than surprised, but not too old for the bottom side. Oh wow! It's like everything is working just a little bit different than what I'm used to. But this, this game wouldn't be considered as hard as what it is if it did. That MGM video was like the ninja just gives up. He's like, oh no! And then he's like, you gotta drink his rolling rock. That game gets over. <laughs> Makes you just like want to give up on the game entirely. Oh! watching right now is like, yeah, this is over. I gotta stop watching this. This, this reminds me of everything that I've been through before myself. I start talking about it. Maybe I should not even talk about it. The game is selling me something. Gun, the only LP you just cannot talk while playing. <laughs> it's just not possible. Well, clearly I'm still talking, but I'm getting a little more comfortable. I 
here's a cat. So, and I hear you laughing, so apparently you're, you're enjoying the cat. Which cat, which cat is it? Oh, that cat. It's like the most... Is that Alphardor? Like Alphardor, like... Does whatever happen to Alphardor in, uh, after the old... After the Kingdom of Zeal went down under? Hopefully Alphardor survived it. Oh, it, is it... Like he's blue? Alphardor! He survived it! Um, my life just turned out much better now. I think I was always worried about the fate of the, uh, the fate of Alphardor. Fuck off, Pumpkin Man. Blocks uh, health, not worth, not worth it. Just a health thing I'm going to recover by health. It really, is not worth it. Whoa, that was cool. I better hurry up though. It doesn't matter how much you get hurt there before the cutscenes, because you'll be giving out your health anyway. I might have a prayer because I have a lot of info on me, and I know how to fight Jackie with Jackie Yo, even though I don't even know how to say his name properly. Jack, Jack something. My, my buddy knows how to say it exactly right. Why well, almost bothers me in a way? Your father was not killed. He has been turned into the masked devil. Imagine someone would say that to me about my dad. It's like, yeah, yeah, buddy, yeah. Your dad's the masked devil now. <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, I don't even have a count for that. Wake up, father! No use. He thinks only of killing you. Oh, that's not a good dad. Almost reminds me of the dad from Corner Cross. His internal, his internal troubles is is going to be the cause of his sleeping. Well, we'll just kill your dad. No, that's just, it's, it's just too terrible. Oh, but what is controlling? That's it. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna try to save all my mental dead people. Father, you are alive. Oh, this beautiful. The Jack Wheel. You both will have died. No, father. Like everyone just collapses in his arms.
Yeah, I couldn't picture everyone in the world want a revenge against him after that. What? I got no nimble lift? Okay. Some of the sadism is completely understood now. My ass! Oh yeah. I mean, it's not even a comparison. Oh, not even comparisons. Yeah, it's like, it's like this is how to make a joke out of bread. That, that there is the guide to making a joke out of me. Jack, you all just touch the, touch the whole world how to make a joke out of me. Like, that's how it's done. Now I've lost my confidence because I thought I had. I thought I understood this guy. I beat it like. I don't have no trouble beating him, but. Maybe. Just maybe. The only reason I had no trouble beating him is because I had a couple times where I was just as lucky as. I'm hoping that's not the case. But you know what? I won't. I won't even doubt it. I might be at this for the rest of the night now, with no possible chance of doing this. Who knows? Maybe I was so lucky that it's still in me an overconfidence, and I really cannot beat the game. <laughs> oh my, so you gotta listen to me over there. But I don't like that. It's like they take away your they take away your nimble. I didn't even know that. So, but the only alternative, the better alternative, well not the better alternative, another alternative is go in with your nimble in the second battle and. <laughs> But, the hell attack place where they don't give you back to hell, oh, that is just plain sad. Evil, but perfect. Ooh, my timer is not looking good. That is the glitch, get rid of the guy, make the bird fly off the screen and then jump and take that money. In a lot of cases, better let the bird fly off the screen in every possible way that you can think of. That'll be too little faster. Timer's back too. Perfect.
and no legs at all. Good thing I found out what was going on with my computer. And it's not the normal things that anyone would consider. It's like, I would figure that because the common knowledge that I thought that I had was not working. But of course, when common knowledge is not working, it's always something else. I got this guy figured out. If you're a safe distance away from him, his far boss goes in a way that he just cannot hurt you. But, it's so easy to fuck up that pattern too. That's what makes him really hurt. Yeah, but Jack, Jack Mio or whatever, don't bother me no more. Not at all. by safe distance, it's like if you're on the bottom level, if, if, if you had enough magic, you can go back and forth, back and forth, kill me, it'll never hurt you, but you never do have enough magic. But, that's, but you can also set things up where you can be on the other side of the screen, you shoot the bar boss, and then you go jump up on the platform, you shoot the bar boss, you jump to the wall, and you go attack. It's so easy to re-establish that pattern. But it's a very hard pattern to figure out. Now. Oh, I can keep top of it. I want to beat this guy right now. There I am, not enough. No. I'm like, no, they're, they're just... Oh, I was on Moi too. Not gonna happen yet. That Moi just turned to not happen. But he's dead now. That guy don't have a prayer. Now, not, now I feel like I'm on the roof. That's the best thing about this game. You feel like you're playing in the roof. It's like you feel like nothing stopped yet. That's, that's one of my favorite things about this game. Because it's almost like, this game is so hard! And you're like, you feel like you're invisible. Whoa! That's how that happens.
and no matter how good you do, you will always have those moments where you get your ass kicked. That's not a good thing about the team. It humbles you. I don't know why I'm doing this, because I'm dead anyways. I just realized I only have one life, but I don't think I can beat the timer. To really... You know what's up. Mm, no. Oh, but wait. What am I thinking? Yes, of course. I thought it was a doubter though. At least if I can get past this part. Because if I die, I mean if I get if I get the mobile, I'll just keep sitting back here. Of course, what was I doing? I should just get this off now. No one really quite wants to do about it. <laughs> Suicide, a gaming tactic. <laughs> Or a rage quit, one or the other. How many people have suicide rage quit? I know I have many times. It's like I get so upset I just, just kill myself and then give up for a while. No, I have. Suicide rage quit. I'm gonna coin the term. Pretty sure it's already been. I bet this game has created a lot of suicide rage quits. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Wow, wow, wow! This game just really just said fuck you in the worst possible way. That's that's what it just did because that's the strategy to beat them. But it's like what it just did to me then is like let me show you how I can kick your ass. And <laughs> oh, wow. So maybe the, that boss there, the most times you win, it has licky work. No, not really. It's a lock body, the attacks are randomized, so in a lot of cases, you're just going to have shitty luck with that guy. What a bad feeling is for people who don't know that and be so amazed to defeat Jack Will and then end up getting their ass kicked that guy. But it's actually very easy. But there's a smile that'll lock back at the end.
Yeah, and the luck wasn't on my side that time, I'll tell you that for sure. It was like the worst. That could go on YouTube, record it, and say this is how the worst way you can go against that guy. Anyways, I gotta press pause because I gotta check the kitchen for a bit and see if food ain't burning or whatnot. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> but I caught it just in time. Who ever heard of someone almost burning marinade meat? It's like you're practically like making soup. So I was like, yeah, I've burnt my soup. But yeah, this, I, I had the water pretty much on boil. And after all that time, the water almost boiled up. But the, but the good news is, I caught it just in time, and after all that time, the flavor is definitely soaked nice way through the meat. And I'm gonna have it on, I got it on a little bit lower. Oh! So I know that it's safe. I thought I had to I thought I had to do the bag there when I caught that uh demon thing, demon alien thing and I had like nearly full health and I had my had ninjas there, the the whirlwind one, the one the boomerang like one, but that's that's the perfect item for him. But it's like I said, the boss pretty much told me this is how this is how this one works. Did I ever learn hard way?
Now that surprised me. That was I died. Why well, is not jumping far enough? Times have I died with that bird? Or oh, Falcon? So what's the blue bird? Falcon soup? I guess. Or Seagull? Better not get over top of them. Now I can, now I can get over top of them. But now I must die. No lives. Come on, Lucy. Yeah. Perfect. He showed you how to kick my ass, and now I'm gonna show you how to kick his ass. Wake up, Bob! I haven't got much longer, it just tipples about the thing of fire. Does his father survive? I guess not. I guess this is why the Xbox version of this game are considered the prequels to this trilogy. Ninja Guard is a double trilogy, if you think about it. Because I don't think, uh, what, Ninja Guard 3, The Razor's Edge, or Xbox and PlayStation, I don't think it's going to be a Ninja Guard 4. I think they wanted to make a new trilogy. And then they're going to try something else. Maybe. But okay. Oh my! Copy. Yeah, that's definitely a graphic piece that could be going on there. Not like the exact same piece found out of a piece. Oh yeah, another one. Oh wait! No, oh, okay, what I'm seeing could be, yeah, definitely a glitch with uh, the program because it's like the castle still there just fine. Yeah, clearly that's what it is. Wow! I've never seen a castle get blown up like that before. It's perfect! Sea swallow? What rain?
Yeah, like she can kill me. What kind of microphone is that? Looks like a fucking rock. He looks too calm for uh, someone who's seeking revenge. See what it made uh, Ninja Garden 3 out that the revenge against Monster. Like, that would have that would sucked, like, if they just excluded that from the storyline altogether. Because Monster is a jerk. But he's emotionally complex, anyways, considering what his parents named him. He has a few uh, emotions deep in that needs to be worked out that no therapist can handle. So sweet. These two is the perfect Nintendo pair. But everyone seems to think uh, Mario and Princess Peach is. Like, they never even get together. Ah, she doesn't give him a kiss on the cheek. It's like, well done, buddy. You only, you, you only just risk your life on this. So here's a kiss on the cheek. Now move on and uh, do what, whatever mushroom stomping you does. Or eating your mushroom <laughs> whatever, you know? Oh my, and that's it. The game is over. I think uh, Seth MacFarlane did a little skit on that. It's like, she's, uh, Pe yeah, Peach is like, I'm not gonna give you a kiss. And I was like, okay, Bowser, you can have her. Fuck this. <laughs> that's what was... Yeah, not that. Seth MacFarlane is cool. I, uh... For anyone who don't know who Seth MacFarlane is, he's the creator of Family Guy, pretty much does half the voices of the show. Well, not a half, but the, the main lead characters, I'll put it that way. And he does, well, the two main characters of American Dad. Let's think, we got Peter Griffin, Brian the Dog, the newscaster, I forget his name, Quagmire, Stewie, and probably someone that I just forget entirely. And in American Dad, he does Stan and Roger. He's like, I, I know this man, when he gets older, he's just probably going to go insane with, like, multiple personality disorder. That's the damn much Oh, Anyways, that's it. Thank you for playing one of the few NES games that actually proofreads their text at the end of the game, rather than some Weird, big shit you're getting read. Okay, have a good day.